Hi guys, this is Andrew here for Tutorial Soup. Now, in this tutorial, um, I'm going to make this um, optional. You um, you can do this tutorial if you want. Um, we're basically going to be creating a 3D model uh, which we can use for our spaceship game. Now, what I'll probably do is leave a link to the image underneath the uh, underneath the video so that you can download the um, download the image without having to do it yourself but if you want to join and play along you can so now the program I'm using is called Blender and you can get it here um, at www.blender.org um, it's a great 3D powerful 3D program which you can create really really impressive stuff with um, as you can see for yourself if you click on features and gallery you can see some of the movies that's been uh, that have been created using blender uh, videos and still pictures but it's pretty amazing what you can do with it and the best thing is that it's free to download um, but if you want to uh, please support um, the Blender organization and um, donate if you feel that you want to um, which I'm sure there's a place down here where you can donate to um, or get involved in some way um, but essentially you can download it for free here um, you can download the 32-bit version or the 64-bit versions um, once you've installed it you should get something that looks like this now, what I'm going to do is, first of all, I need to make sure my screen cast is working. Um, if you have any problems um, following, following what I'm doing at any time, you can look at the left um, part of the screen here and it will show you the keys that I'm actually currently pressing. Um, but as I go along, I will also explain a few things, um, what I'm doing as well. Um, so yeah, let's, uh, let's get going. So to start off with, you will uh, have a cube, much like this one here. I'm going to press A to select it all, press X, and I'm actually going to delete that here because I want to um, create a mesh UV sphere, which I have here. Now, deselect that there. Now, I want to I want to try and create like a kind of moon buggy um, kind of um, ship. I want it to be quite round, and it's going to be really easy to make. Um, I'm just going to move this up a little bit. Now, to start off with. Um, I'm going to create some simple kind of legs or metal kind of supports down here um, so I'm going to select by pressing shift and the right mouse button I'm going to select these ones in fact I'm going to select these as well oh actually one thing I forgot to do actually we're going to make to make this easier uh, we're going to use something called the mirror modifier so You'll often see me go down to this view um, here to uh, change my view each time. Um, if you've got a numpad, you can use the shortcut numpad keys to save you doing this, but I'm using my laptop, so I have to do it this way at the moment. Um, also, I mean, you can set up some key, uh, shortcut keys, but I haven't done that. Um, I'm going to select using B, I'm going to select one side of this UV sphere it's not quite a whole side and I want to delete the vertices so I want to just So I want to just um, select one side of this UV sphere and 
delete it. So now I've got one half of UV sphere. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to create something called or use something called a mirror modifier. So I'm going to press A. I'm going to go up here to the spanner or wrench, whatever you want to call it, and press mirror. Now, does that look right? Hmm. Sorry guys, um, it was actually harder than I thought to uh, select half of the uh, sphere. It wasn't looking quite right, so I just went back and selected it again and created the mirror here. So it looks about right now. Um, it's probably an easier way of doing it, but um, I'm not an expert with Blender. Um, right, what I'm going to do now, now we've got a mirror. Um, anything we do, sorry, anything we do to this side here will be mirrored on the other side. So you can see if I pull that vertices out, the other one does exactly the same. Essentially, uh, just mirrors what I do on this side. So I'm actually going to start off selecting these vertices here, this side, and I'm going to extrude that down to get a thruster. Um, also, I can grab this a little bit and put it outwards, and I can also extrude it down again. Now, what I also want to do is, sorry, Press A to deselect them. Uh, press Shift to select all these vertices here. Actually, just try uh, do these ones this side. In fact, I could just do that. Deselect them. Now. I want some feet on this ship, so I'm going to extrude these outwards and then extrude again. I'm going to try and move them down a bit, like so. A little bit off center, but they still look pretty good. Um, so that's the feet when it needs to land. Um, might also maybe extrude this upward slightly. Give it a little bit on the top. Um, and also maybe select these vertices here. Extrude these out. Oops. Extrude these out. Um, scale down the ends. Like so. You could also grab them and bring them down slightly. And the wings. Uh, obviously you can create far better models than this, I mean you can use um, your imagination, you're only limited by your imagination so you can create cool things. I'm just creating a quick and simple model just to show you um, how easy it is. Um, one thing I want to do is add another modifier. Um, add a modifier and I'm going to add a sub-surface um, modifier and we are going to put the subdivisions up to uh, the view up to 
three. That almost looks that almost looks like Kirby, doesn't it? It almost looks like more it actually looks like a character more than a ship, but um I'm gonna go with it. Um also bring the render up to three. Um what I might also do actually is add a little window just here. You can do that quite easily by extruding inwards, like so. That's pretty cool. Um, one thing I kind of want to do is select the inner part of that um, window and by pressing N to bring up this menu I'm going to put the mean crease to 1 which basically will make it a lot smoother um, what I also want to do is add another mean crease to the outside so select Oops, not that one. Select these ones here and add a mean crease of one to those as well, and it will smooth that off um, so it looks more like a window. Um, you could also add mean crease here. to make that a little bit smoother so it looks more defined I think the word is um, now that's a, that looks pretty cool actually um, I mean obviously as I said before you can create more complex models just to spend a little bit more time but this looks pretty good for a kind of uh, simple little spaceship with a thruster and wings so I'm going to save that. Um, one thing I might do quickly is change the colour a little bit. Um, and main actually, I'm going to change the specular as well. I'm going to put the specular down to zero, um, so it takes the shine off the ship. Um, and I might change the colour to nice red and when we're done doing that I might just see what it looks like when it's rendered um, escape that I'm just gonna see where the camera's sitting at the moment right okay um, kind of bring him around a bit I'm just gonna change the camera slightly and rotate it oops rotate let's just go to top view quickly so I'm just gonna rotate this around and I think actually it might be upside down. Uh, it doesn't matter. Um, it, well, it kind of does matter that the camera's upside down, but for now I can just Let's see what it's. Okay, I need to change the light. I'm just going to basically. In fact, what I might do is change it to a sun, change the direction of the light source. Up a little bit. Let's try and render this again. a little bit <laughs> I 
almost. Just point it up a little bit. Not too much. Let's put it on there. There you go. That's a pretty cool little. There's not much detail to it. Um, you can add textures to it if you want to, but you get the point. I mean, it's a lot easier than spending hours kind of just trying to do something in Paint Shop. Um, this kind of gives it uh, a physical kind of. I mean, it, it gives it a kind of more real world look. I mean, it looks a lot better than um, a quick blob, uh, you know, in Photoshop. And you don't really, as you can see from how I'm doing it, you don't really need to know much about the program to to create something pretty cool. Um, um, I'm running over time in this tutorial. What I'm going to do um, in the start of the next tutorial, I'm going to render this out. I'll show you how to do that, and then we're going to um, put that image into our space background. Um, okay, cool. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Just that, and I will see you in the next one.